The Tennessee Titans host the Cincinnati Bengals to determine the first spot in the AFC Championship game. Playoff football is unforgiving. Regular season success does not guarantee playoff victories. Burrow, feeling some heat, spins to his left, in trouble, sack! Sack! They get him again! Sacked nine times. He's gonna be black and blue for days. They can't block us, man, let us go! Tannehill firing downfield, going for Brown. And the Bengals' 10-point lead is gone. 16 all is the score. Despite big plays on both sides of the ball, the 2021 season ended with a loss to the eventual AFC champions. Snap, set, kick. It's good. It was a stunning conclusion for a Titans team that has grown accustomed to winning tight games. But this was less conclusion and more next step for a team that won 12 games. Another AFC South title and earned the top seed in the AFC. The 2021 Titans could beat you on the ground, in the air, or on defense. It was a season where the rest of the NFL felt the wrath of the Titans. Head coach Mike Vrabel entered his fourth season, ready to take off. The defending AFC South champs were no longer hunting a division title. They were hunting more. I'm done begging. I'm coaching. I'm done begging, Cass, to do that. I am done, KB. Starting with day, I'm coaching. I'm done begging. After a week one loss to Arizona, Tennessee dug themselves a 24-9 halftime hole in Seattle. Gets away from the Titans to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Settle down. The game ain't over, okay? But we're going to have to settle down and just be all on the same page. Them ugly runs are going to be better later, I promise. The switch was flipped after 90 minutes of struggles. The 2021 season officially began with a second-half explosion. Runs into the end zone. They won in the fourth quarter. Win in the fourth quarter. It was a huge day for Derrick Henry, who carried the ball a career high 35 times for 182 yards. He's to the 20. Ah, He's to the yeah. end zone. Yes. Derrick Henry just went 60. And we got us a ball game again. He did not catch your ass. First and goal at the one inch line, 32 seconds to go. Give Henry, he walks in. Touchdown, Titans! We're knotted at 30. I'll tell you what, Tennessee Titans are a resilient bunch of dudes. So we're going to play some extra football. Under pressure, flushed out, being chased in the end zone. A Dady grabs him in the end zone. They'll call his forward progress down at the one. The big sack put the ball back in Henry's hands. Henry driving forward has a first down. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Get up through that, deuce, deuce. This is a 36-yarder to win it. Snap, set, kick. Got it! Yes! <laughs> yes! How about these tight Yes! The impossible yes! situation. The Titans returned to Nashville one and one. In front of a group of franchise legends, they took on the Colts in an early matchup of AFC South favorites. We gotta protect this house, man. Last time we was out here, God, it wasn't us. We go out here and show out. Division game, another home game, every opportunity is a blessing, dog. Let's go show out today, man. Ball out, man. That's right. Quarterback Ryan Tannehill balled out throwing three touchdown passes against their division rivals. Touchdown, Titans! Chester Rogers, the former Colt! Tannehill 
takes the shotgun snap, firing. Westbrook and Keenan at the 10, at the 5, in the end zone. They gave it a little Billy White Shoes Johnson in the end zone. Good for him. Tannehill looking, firing, complete to McNichols at the 5. Did he get in? Yes, he did! Jeremy McNichols! That's a drive. That's a drive. That's a must-have drive, must-have touchdown. Titans going to set up to go for two here in a 20-13 game. Tannehill gives Henry. He's in there. Two for double two. Oh. A double move. I want a double move. <laughs> Baby. It was another familiar day for Henry and his AFC South opponents. Number 22 ran for 113 yards, his sixth straight division game over 100. Run left, run right. The king runs where he wants. The king goes where the king wants. With the king looking strong and a head-to-head -head win over Indy, the Titans had the kind of start that grows confidence. The Tennessee defense had forced just two turnovers entering their week five game in Jacksonville. That changed on the Jaguars' third play from scrimmage. Losing the football is the tight end. The Titans have picked it up with Byard. Kevin Byard to the house. The offense found the end zone as well, using the creativity of offensive coordinator Todd Downing. And walking into the end zone unencumbered. Followed by the brute strength of running back Derrick Henry. Henry on the left side to the five. Henry to the goal line. Touchdown, Titans! The Yuli Bulldozer. Count them. One, two, three <laughs> scores! The lights shined brighter starting in week six. Four straight games against Super Bowl contenders loomed. Tennessee let the country know they are part of that group, too. It's Henry on the right side. There he goes. 35-40, That's 50. it! Derrick Henry! That's getting something going! 76 yards! Yeah! Welcome to the league, brother! Well, the running back's big as you! Oh, yeah. bigger than you! Uh, no, all right! Wait, Henry ran for 143 yards and three more touchdowns. After six games, the King had totals of 783 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Side, trying to turn it. Oh, he did it! Titans 24! Bills 23! Oh, oh, oh. oh, what I'm talking about! Gives Henry on the left side to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone! Titans 34, Bills 31, 3.05 remaining. Buffalo marched downfield, thinking win instead of a tie. But the Titans' defense was thinking win too. Fourth and one from the three-yard line. Bills keep the offense on the field. Here we go. Allen sneaking. No, I don't he know. did not make that. He did not make that. What a stop as the Titans get it done. Hey, After disposing of the Bills, another AFC power came calling the next week. Back in downtown Nashville, the Chiefs and the Titans today. Hey, we're not here to prove nobody wrong. We're here to prove ourselves right today. It's all about us. We set the tempo. We set the tone. The tone was set. After scoring just 20 first quarter points in their first six games, Tennessee put two early touchdowns on the board to take control. He throws in the end zone. Man is wide open. Caught. Touchdown, Titans! Tannehill firing deep left side. Here it comes. The Titans' 27 to nothing lead at halftime was their largest halftime lead since 2016. Got a man. Touchdown, Titans! Way to be physical. Don't let him score! The defense put the brakes on a Chiefs offense, averaging over 30 points a game. Patrick Mahomes was hit eight times, sacked four, and turned it over with a fumble. He lost the ball, the Titans have it! And an interception. Fires downfield, the ball batted up in the air, and did Evans intercepted on the deflection? I think he did, yes sir! For the 
for the second time in six days against an AFC power. The tight get it done. I know what time it is. It's about to be a heavyweight match. And just like last week, we're going to throw the first punch. Instead, they took the first two punches in their second meeting with the Colts in week eight. Down 14 0 after their first three offensive snaps, Ryan Tannehill stayed poised. Tannehill looking, firing right side. There's Brown. Brown at the 40, breaks the tackle 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Titan. We're tied 14 14. The teams traded blows, and with a minute 33 left in the game, pressure from Bud Dupree led to a big play from Elijah Molden. He's in trouble. He tries to left hand it out. It's intercepted by Molden. Touchdown, tight. Wentz made a massive mistake, and Elijah Molden is there and give the Titans the lead. We're gonna be him, Mike. But we ain't gonna break. You did what I'm saying. Let's go. Indy rallied to tie the game, but in overtime, all pro Kevin Byard came up with a big play. Fires downfield. The ball is intercepted. Byard. And already Tennessee in field goal range. But y'all talking about who the best in the league? Come on now. Stop playing with me. Snap. Set. Kick. The win gave the Titans a three-game lead in the division, essentially clinching the South by Halloween. Okay, just line up the next one. We'll find a way to knock them down, right? We said it, said it all week. We said it last night. It was going to be a battle, okay? This game, obviously, Ben, was won with a big heart and a strong chin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The huge win over Indy came with a price. Derrick Henry suffered a foot injury was sidelined indefinitely. We're a resilient group. We believe in each other. Uh, it's a next man up mentality. It's time to sign all the credit. Everybody count us out. It's about us. But the bad injury news didn't derail Tennessee against the eventual Super Bowl champions. The defense stepped up again. Five sacks. 11 quarterback hits. And Jeffrey Simmons outplayed Aaron Donald. In trouble, hit, throws it away, it's intercepted at the five. Hey, Kate, no, 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 Has the snap, has the throw, right side, picked off again. Intercepted, fired, 20, 10, five, in the zone, touchdown, tight. And back-to-back -back takeaways for this Tennessee defense give the Titans a 13-3 lead. Go get points. Go get points. Let's go. Adrian Peterson was brought in to help fill the Henry void. But it was quarterback Ryan Tannehill with the rushing touchdown to seal their fifth straight victory. Ryan Tannehill! You're going to get a finger roll! <laughs> We all know what the story was, man. Derrick Henry out. The only thing that matters is seven and two. Tennessee used an NFL record 91 players in 2021. The next man up philosophy kept the Titans' wrath rolling. The five and three Saints against the NFL's hottest team, Tennessee. The pass rush continued to shine in week 10 behind Pro Bowlers Simmons and Harold Landry. Their back-to-back -back sacks at the end of the second quarter helped maintain a 13-6 halftime lead. Jeffrey Simmons is there with Joe Jones. Simmons finished the year with eight and a half sacks. Fourth-year linebacker Landry led the team with 12. 40 seconds to go. Simeon on second and 14. Field pressure. Looking. Big chase. Sack! Harold Landry. To begin the second half, the special teams made their mark. Harris to the 10, to the 15. He's hit, he lost the ball. Mad scramble for the football. Tight ball. Ah! Let's go! Let's go! 
Second and goal at the two. Play fix. Tannehill looking, throwing. Touchdown! Titans! Michael Pruitt! Titans 20, Saints 6. Stay on up, RPO! The Saints cut the lead to two with a minute 33 left. A two-point conversion would tie the game. Simeon takes the snap. Fires right side. And it is incomplete. Yeah! Yeah! The win pushed the Titans' record to 8-2. and two, Tops in the AFC. I do, as always, appreciate you know, the, our, our core group that that fights and battles and, and finds a way to make some plays there at the end. In his third season in Tennessee, Ryan Tannehill continued to win games. He killed that. Atta, baby. He killed that. Atta, wait. Here we go, baby. Here we go. There he is. Let's get it rolling. Oh, hello. What's on? Tannehill. Gives Foreman a crack on the left side. He cuts it up. He drives it in. Touchdown, Titans! Boom! Hey, great drive. Great drive. Keep it going, now. Huh? Hey, can you tell the trainer I need a snack or something? Snack? Snack, yeah. Tannehill snacked on the Jaguars in week 14. Tannehill rolling to the left. Turns, runs, scores. Finger roll. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. And the defense feasted. After forcing no turnovers and back-to-back -back losses the prior two weeks, the defense picked off Trevor Lawrence four times. Let's go! And recorded their first home shutout in over two decades. Flushed out to his left, could run for it, pulls it back, throws deep downfield, and it is intercepted! It's Christian Fulton, picked up by Jayon Brown, Fourth interception for the Titans. Y'all yeah, something else, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Play with energy tonight, man. Let's get it, man. Week 16, the Titans fell behind 10-0 against San Francisco, and it could have been worse. In a tomb-like stadium, comes alive. Great job. Hey, we'll catch it. Hey, we'll catch it. The ball ain't round. I don't know where it's gonna bounce off of whose hand or what. Just keep playing. NFL Coach of the Year Mike Vrabel has built a resilient team. After getting shut out in the first half, they scored 17 straight points to take the lead. Pressure coming. He fires downfield. Touchdown! Titan! Arthur! One! Brown! Welcome home! But it wouldn't be a Titans win without some late game drama. Tied at 17 late in the fourth, Tannehill performed his best Derrick Henry impersonation. Tannehill to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and he's taken down at the 32 yard line. This is gonna be a 44 yarder, Randy Bullock to attempt. Oh, nine seconds left. Let's go, Randy. Let's go, Randy. Let's go, Randy. Set. Kick. Good! Yes! And what a lovely Christmas it will be. Merry Christmas. Y'all yeah. know what we're playing for today, man. So let's go get it, man. The Titans were playing for a second straight division title against Miami on a wet, sloppy day. Tennessee was not about to let the AFC South crown slip out of their hands. Tucker by Lowe loses the ball. It's rolling free. The Titans are trying to get on it. It's tight ball. Crib. We're going to the crib. Party in the backfield. The defense did not allow Miami in the red zone. Sack! They got great push up the middle. And gave up fewer than 20 points for a fourth straight game. The offense scored 17 points in the fourth quarter to blow it open. In their eighth game without Derrick Henry, Tennessee ran for 198 yards. To the critics who thought they were in trouble after losing the King, the King's army ran for over 135 yards a game in his absence 
and closed out the division title in style. Foreman to the box. Yes! Foreman to the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! We about to be champs? We about to clinch the South! AFC South champion. Boy, that's yes, up. Next time you walk by me without giving me a high five, we're going to have some problems. High five, Brett. There was still one item of business left. Lock up the overall top seed in the AFC. Touchdown, Titans! Looking to avenge their worst loss of the season, Tannehill helped Tennessee build a 21-0 halftime lead. The Texans pushed back, whittling the Titans' lead to three. Enter Ryan Tannehill. Here comes pressure. Tannehill, he's buried. He gets away. He rolls to his right. He throws downfield. Westbrook and Keenan all alone. Ryan Tannehill may have just saved the day. Tannehill looks left, comes back to the middle, fires. Julio Jones, touchdown, Titans, Julio! The Titans claim the top spot in the AFC. The arrow is pointed up. A six straight winning season. 23 wins in the last two years. The wrath of the Titans will be felt in the AFC in 2022.